Hey guys, so I'm on the set of a music video. Um, I actually did my own makeup. There is a makeup artist, but we're kind of short on time. So I did my own makeup um, and they straightened and blew out my hair. But we are in Miami and we're at a high rise. So they're doing a few scenes here and then we're gonna move over to a boat where they're gonna do some other scenes. But this is just kind of what's going on right now. And that's actually my friend Joaquin. So it's just so funny in a small world. Still need to put on lipstick and I still need to change because I'm not wearing this. But I will check in with you guys very, very soon. This? Yeah. It's a vlog. <laughs> Live video. I'm vlogging. Say this up, Joaquin. Wait, let's see the back of that hat. Hey, there's a vibe. We were so young. My life has been all over the place, so I haven't really had time to make an empties video, but I did want to do a quick mini review on these four products. And the first one is a night cream. This is the Origins High Potency Night Amends Cream. And it said it is mineral enriched renewal cream. So I used up the entire, let's open this, of course. I'm gonna give you a little um, <laughs> vertigo, but I used everything up. I scraped the last bits out of this. It's a very nice thick cream and I loved using it at nighttime. Felt that I woke up with my skin feeling so plush and it just looked renewed like the bottle says. Um, I got this recommendation from Kathleen Lights here on YouTube, which I'm sure you guys have all heard of her because she is very popular, and I really do trust her recommendations. So this was another product that I heard about from her and that I definitely like. I am going to try out new products, um, new night creams, just because skincare items are one of the things that I find myself constantly looking for an upgrade, although this was a very nice starter cream in the sense that it was reasonably priced and it did a decent job. I am going to see what I can find that is the next step. But if you are new to skincare, definitely check this out. The next product has been chewed. If you guys watch some of my vlogs, you guys know that I babysit a lab every once in a while, and this product was definitely touched by him. This is the Maybelline Dream Bronze BB. It's an 8-in-1 Beauty Balm Sun Kissed Glow Perfector, and it does have an SPF of 25. So that's awesome. And how I use this product is actually not by itself, which I did try and do that one time, and although it did create a nice bronze, you know, foundation type uh, effect, I did find that it made my skin oily. So I like to add this to my regular foundation. One, because my foundation is a little too light for me right now, and two, because it just adds a very nice bronze glow to it. It does provide coverage, so it's not just a shimmer product. It does make your skin look very natural and just creates an all-over radiance. So I really like that, and I recommend it because it's from the drugstore. If you guys have a product that's similar from like Sephora or Mac, please let me know because I have been trying out a few samples. Um, I have one from Becca right now, the uh, bronzing skin. I've been trying that one out. And then I also have, what is this one? That's not it. Um, the Sorry, you guys are just gonna have to bear with me on the views right now. But I also have the Becca Shimmering Skin and Topaz. So I've been using these two, but I find that they don't have any coverage like the BB cream does. So that's what I'm looking for. The next product is a mask, and this is the Kiehl's Turmeric and Cranberry Seed Energizing Radiance Mask. This smelt so nice, and it created such a nice layer on my skin. And because it had cranberry seeds in it, it was very exfoliating and left my skin very clear. So it definitely, I think, invigorated and brightens the skin appearance. So I got this as a sample. Just thought I would mention it to you. And the last but not least, the product that I finished up is by Ava Anderson, and this is the deodorant. So if you guys have not seen, um, I have a few products from her that I've tried out. I will link it in the video right here. You can check out her line, um, but it is paraben free, it has no aluminum, aluminum, and there's no harmful chemicals. And it smells like mint, I mean it smells like chocolate mints to be honest, so gives your skin a nice scent um, underneath your arms, and it's the one natural deodorant that I find that actually works. I've gone through, let's see which one it was, I did a video about how much I hate this, oh that's my other Ava Anderson one. 
This is the um, La Vanilla. This is the vanilla scent, right? Or is it the coconut vanilla? Vanilla coconut. This sucks. I hate it. Um, I still kept it because I thought I ran out of this one, but I didn't. So now I found my backup and I'm definitely going to keep repurchasing it because like I said, it's amazing and doesn't give me breast cancer. So that's always a plus. Hi guys. We're at Carly's graduation party, not my hairstylist friend Carly, but another girlfriend of mine. So they have this huge slide that they rented. So it's about to be lit. <laughs> Morning guys, so let's see what time it is. It is 10 o'clock and yes, I'm using an iPod because I broke my phone over the weekend. Let's try and study this camera, why don't we? Um, I broke my camera over the, or my phone over the weekend and had to get the screen fixed. So right now I'm in the transitional period of not having a case and I'm just so concerned that I'm gonna break it again because that was a costly expense for me. So I don't wanna have to go through that again. So that happened over the weekend. This is Friday the 13th, which I'm really not um, into that whole, what's, what's the word? It's too early for me. I haven't had the coffee, so I can't really think that much. I'm not really, skeptical isn't the word. Suspicions is not the word. I don't know. I don't believe in the whole Friday the 13th stuff. Let's just be easy and say it like that. But Friday the 13th for me was crazy. Um, on top of ruining my phone I also backed into a parked car like a dummy head so you know I probably shouldn't vlog and drive as I'm telling you guys this I'll talk to you guys once I'm out of light oh actually wait we're about to approach one so let's just hold on a few seconds okay we're steady so then I barked into parked <laughs> backed into a parked car well that's just gonna completely destroy my bank account so that was my day on Friday and then yesterday I had some bad news about my graduation date that I'm not going to be graduating when I expected. I was hoping to graduate this August and it turns out I'm not graduating till December. So I spent my whole day crying yesterday. We're moving again, so let's let's pause again. So yesterday I spent the entire day crying and just so upset, so frustrated, so disappointed in myself. But I've realized there's really not much I can do about my situation. I just got to push through it and keep aiming towards my goals and saving up money to pay for the expenses that I created upon myself. So I have been kind of trying to get inspired and I have been more inspired yesterday. I did my little cry session and then I'm like, okay, so how are we going to get over this? So I've been writing down things every day that I want to get accomplished using sticky notes and just kind of crossing them off my list. I've been watching a lot of um, Kaylin Nicholson's videos. You guys need to check her out. She's so inspiring to me. She's one of my favorite YouTubers to watch. Uh, beauty wise and also vlog wise I love her so definitely check her out because she's really been helping me and then of course I've still been going through that same old boy drama that I talked about a couple months ago but I'm finally done with that in the sense that like I gave myself like you you just got to move on so I'm working towards that as well so there's just a lot going on in my life but I'm taking it day by day and I'm trying to just make myself happy again because I told you guys in that one vlog that I've just been so upset and like when things like yesterday come upon me with all of my challenges it's really hard not to stay discouraged and be like okay well you know this sucks and just keep crying and crying but if you keep crying what, what are you gonna get solved? Nothing. So I've got to work towards what I want to do and how am I gonna do that when the lights <laughs> the lights change on me and I got to drive so Anyways enough about my blabbling I just wanted to let you guys know what's going on in my life and how I'm feeling motivated and inspired and I'm heading to the gym to kill Some arms like okay Taylor you're back into a parked car and then you take your hand off the wheel two hands off the wheel Look ma no hands <laughs> All right, enough's enough. I'm going to kill this workout and I'll see you guys after. There's only been a few times where I thought I was filming and I wasn't and just now was one of them. This is a sample I have from Brio Geo. Um, it's 95 naturally derived and it is called the Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. So I put that in, let it sit for about 10 minutes and then I rinsed it out. And I'm trying out this new kind of like a heatless wave tutorial. So I'm gonna let you guys know how that goes because if it turns out nice, I'm definitely doing a tutorial. So I'm just kind of hanging out. I'll show you what I'm doing, watching YouTube videos. I have these little post-its that I'm trying to keep myself organized with. So like just things that need to be done. This is part of the vlog that you guys are watching. And then I also made myself some lunch. This is just kale with uh, sauteed shrimp 
on it. And then I put some feta and avocado. And I'm drinking a green juice for my work. This is called Ananda. It has pineapple, cucumber, chard, kale, lime, and spirulina in it. And it is all natural, organic. These are the benefits from drinking it. So I love my job because I get benefits of going in and picking up juice. We've been feeding this cat for the past two years since we lived here. Um, this lady actually drove by when we were moving in and told us that she lived here previously. It's gonna be really hard, hold on. Let me, let me set that down. Uh, she told us that she had lived here and that she fed this cat and she asked if we would continue feeding it And so ever since then we have and she comes. I'm pretty sure it's a girl. I don't really know. I I Just talked to her like she's a girl, but either way. She's a sweet pea. That's what I call her and, uh, So I feed her um, twice a day me or the girls So we just always are keeping cat food on deck for her, but she knows where she gets fed. It's either <laughs> She's so sweet either there or sometimes we'll feed her in the back too, but like See, this is her little cat food station. I wanted to show you how my hair turned out after I took out my little Dobby buns. So as you can see, there's a very nice, healthy, beachy wave, and we have a lot of volume going on. So I'm excited to see what the curls look like once they drop, but so far I'm pretty happy with the results. Let me know what you guys think down below. I was a little limited on my food selection for dinner, so I quickly ran to the grocery store. Picked up two Fiji apples, some almond breeze almond milk because I'm gonna start making oatmeal in the morning. I'm just so sick of eggs, I can't do it any longer. <laughs> Got some natural Jif crunchy peanut butter and then these Kashi pumpkin spice flax bars were on sale. So I picked those up because I love anything pumpkin. It reminds me of fall and yeah. So picked up some bananas. And then their watermelon was also buy one get one free, so I picked up a thing of that. And then some mushrooms, because I'm going to bake chicken, green beans, and mushrooms. So let me get to cooking, because your girl is hungry. My day took an unexpected turn. I had class today, and now I'm going out on my friend's boyfriend's boat, and the boat is beautiful like you are gonna see this boat and you guys are just gonna freak because I did the first time I went on it so we are just gonna take it out we might go to a happy hour I'm not really sure what's going on but uh y'all are coming along <laughs> the jellyfish aren't doing too good but just an idea of what a jellyfish tank actually looks like these little guys just floating everywhere look how sick is that he's getting all the necessities for the boat day